Hey guys, I'm Sammy Banks. I'm one of the adult neurology residents at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm gonna take you through a typical day in my life on the general neurology service. So far, I woke up at 5.30 this morning, uh, made my coffee, and I'm just getting ready to head out the door and drive to work. And eight minutes later, I made it to campus. Um, we have a very convenient parking lot right next to where our team workroom is. I'll show you how close it is. I love this walk in the summer, but we also have the option for parking inside in a ramp on a rainy or snowy day. This walk total takes about two and a half minutes. The other walk is about five. We start the morning off with sign out. Carly is the other PGY2 neurology resident on service right now. Caitlin is the PGY1 internal medicine intern rotating with us this month. And Marcus is the Night Emergency Neurology Junior, or the Ninja, which is what we call our Night Float resident. He's sending out to us. Time to go pre-run on our patients. This is the hallway heading into the Domitilla second floor where most of the neurology patients are. It's nice that all of our patients are on one unit together. It makes pre-rounding easy, which we do from about 7.30 to 8 a.m. Every morning from 8 to 8.30 we have teaching, type either a consultant or a PGY4 neurology resident. Today it's Dr. Barbanel teaching us about examining the cranial nerves. Pushing out, this pushes out hard, this doesn't push out so hard, this side wins. Perfect. So what I would propose is for every patient you see, before you say the cranial nerves are intact, skip smell, who cares? <laughs> visual field testing, visual acuity plus or minus, RPD testing plus or minus, make sure the pupils are reactive. Make sure the eyes are moving okay. If they're not, then come grab me. We can talk about it. Stroke the face. If you're really concerned, you can test the muscles. Look at the face. This is plus or minus, but it's probably good to check. I don't recommend get, uh, doing the gag reflex on everybody. Look at the palate. Listen to their voice. See if they have slurred speech. Turn their head, shrug their shoulders, check their tongue, and you're done. So you can do this in about 30 seconds but it's a wonderful screen of the brainstem. So each thing has to be done, what I just talked about, and then you can, you can add more things later. We start team table rounds at 8.30 in the morning. Our team consists of two third-year medical students, a fourth-year senior neurology resident who leads the team, a pharmacist who looks over all our patients and the medications they're on, a consultant, which is what we call our attending physician, a first-year internal medicine intern, two second year neurology residents, and then Kayla, who is our desk operations specialist. She's truly invaluable to the team in setting up post-hospital follow-up and getting any records or other things we might need. Now we're all heading as a group to go round on our patients together. After we finish up group rounds, we come back to the team room and work on orders, notes, and discharges. We're given a generous meal account for lunches. Our cafeteria just opened a sushi bar, which is my personal favorite right now. We also have a frozen yogurt station, which is great for afternoon snacks. We have a different noon conference every day. Friday, we have subspecialty conference, and today it's led by neuropthalmology. We had an awesome lecture about how to evaluate double vision. In the afternoon, we get new admissions and often do lumbar punctures. Today, Carly got to do the LP and she aced it. I have a great learning opportunity coming for you from the ED. A fourth year neurology resident evaluates all of the patients in the ED who may need neurologic care. They are the ones who assign and present to us our new admissions. We have lecture at 4.30 every day as part of the summer lecture series to prep us on the basics of neurology. This happens downtown at the clinic, but we can webcast in from the hospital. 
All right, well, I just got home. It's about 6.55. Um, I signed out the patients at 6.30 to the Ninja or Marcus Pinto. Um, forgot to tape sign out, but you saw a bit of that this morning. Um, so no different from there. Um, he'll be watching the patients tonight and taking in any new admits. Um, and then we'll see him again at 6.30 tomorrow. My plan for tonight, I'm just gonna go in, make some dinner, um, probably take my dog for a walk and get a little workout in. Um, and maybe enjoy a bonfire later. Thanks for spending the day with me. I hope this gave you a little understanding of what it's like on the general neurology service.